we got a Hollywood star in the house. His name is Jonathan Keltz, and he is in the new movie 21 and Over out this Friday. It's very funny, and he's very funny as well. Here's Jonathan Keltz. Come on out. Hi. Hello. How are you? Take a little seat on our couch, friend. Hop on down. Now, welcome back. You were actually here when you were promoting Disney's prom. Yeah, right? I was here about uh, two years ago. So you had your prom. Now you're 21 and over. Yeah, it's kind of all of, in sequential uh, order a bit. Going through the motions here. Now, you yeah. you also lived in Toronto for a bit, right? Well, I do still. I go back and forth oh. between here and L.A. So, uh, yeah, my girlfriend and I have a place here, and uh, I go back and forth uh, you know, when I need to. Cool. Well, you're always welcome in Canada. We love that. Thank we you. like people, you know, who keep that those roots, even though they were Absolutely. born in Canada. No, uh, you know, my parents and I moved here as I was going into high school and my acting career started here. Degrassi, all that yes. stuff back in the day. So, you know, I, I really, I owe a lot to Toronto, to the Canadian industry. So I get to, I like to come back and do stuff all the time. I, I just did some Republic of Doyle. I think I might do a little bit more. It's fun. Gotta, gotta keep the roots alive. Cool. Well, you did 21 and over. It's the writers and producers of The Hangover. Now, yeah. it's college humor, but I feel like it's got a little bit more soul and a little bit more heart to it. So tell everybody what 21 and over is all about. Yeah, well, I mean, this is, you know, it is a, a party movie. It is yeah. a crazy evening filled with uh, fun, but uh, really the heart of the movie is these three friends. You know, their brotherhood, the way they've sort of fallen apart over the years, maybe gone their separate ways, lost themselves a bit, and sort of through this crazy night, through this adventure, refound each other, and you know, the, the bond that's rekindled that will continue for the rest of their lives. Yes, now were you partly drawn to it because of the hangover connection? Oh my god, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, John Lucas and Scott Moore, the writer-directors, I mean, they're unbelievable talents. I mean, The Hangover is one of my favorite movies, and they're hysterical. They're comic geniuses, yeah. so they were the big thing, you know, when I first, you know, started getting involved, and then once we all came together and I met Miles, uh, he and I sort of knew each other a bit, and then, you know, Skyler and Justin as well. The chemistry uh, formed quick. We I had a blast. I was going to say, you do have really good chemistry. I want to show a picture of the other guys in the movie. Yeah. Because cool there's all great actors, you guys. So you had a lot of fun on set together? Oh, so much fun. I mean, and that was the tone that John and Scott, you know, sort of set. Like, it was just all about relaxed, playful fun. It was too much fun. Too much fun. Yeah. Was there like real drinking happening? No, no, during shooting, no. No. But uh, you know, I, I was lucky. I had a bunch of days off, so I would like you know I would visit the set, go to a bar down the way, come back, hang out, go you know back, or maybe you know, pop around in the background of the scenes and stuff. So you know, if you can find Randy, he's, he's around and well, maybe some extra you scenes. You filmed at the University of Washington, yeah. right? Like on campus. So did you get to go to real college parties? We didn't go to any real like you know parties or anything. We started filming before school was even in session, so we were shooting primarily during the summer. And then at the end of the shoot, that's when we got into like you know the students showing up. Yeah, we were there for you know rush week at the frats and stuff, and we had to we had to pause shooting a couple of times for the revelry. Crazy. Okay, yeah. well you do play a character named Randy. Randy. And we're gonna show a clip so you can see what Jonathan Keltz is all about in Twenty One and Over. Check this out. That's awesome. It went all the way through. I can see it. Oh my god. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. I am so sorry, man. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wrong homeboy. No, no, no. Here, here. Let me take a look. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm a oh, medical oh, student. I just checked. Back off. Hey, 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 hey. Step up 3D. Help me. Take a step, step up. up oh, you want to fight? Down. Nobody wants to dance. Okay. Well, it, it was an accident. A... Sorry, I'm it not going to. Sorry, we won't touch you. Oh, it was an accident. It was an accident. Oh, guys, I guess it was just an accident. You know, my face doesn't even, it doesn't even hurt anymore now that I know that it's an accident. I mean, an accident, they happen all the time when you're drinking. People get hit by things like flying jars, happen flying stools. What do you do with a bar stool? What, you got to throw it at? Whoa! Oh! Oh, and that's not the only hit Randy takes no. at poor Jeff Chang. Justin Cho Chong plays Jeff Chang. Yeah. Okay, so dare I say you play the douchebag, the meathead. Douche. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it, that I am the, the reluctant villain of the movie, you know, but really Randy's just having a bad night himself, you know, starting with the dart and all these things. Yes. It, it gets it gets pretty messy. Okay, so you're a very sweet guy. You don't seem douchey Thank you. at all. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. But, so how do you get into the douchebag mode for this character? Well, that was the trick. That was, you know, what, you know, John and Scott and I talked so much about was, you know, this character could, you know, see him as a cartoon, you know, he's, he's aggro, he's angry, he's douchey, you know, he's a mess. But uh, we wanted to find a grounded, relaxed, natural way to sort of, you know, to, to have him be in there because it, it needs to be believable that, you know, Sarah Wright's character would be with him, you know, if at, at you know, at some point, you know, and so... 
that was the difficulty. I sort of tried to, you know, get inspiration from Bradley Cooper in Wedding Crashers. I thought he sort yeah. of played that, you know, that grounded, just despicable villain real well. But, you know, you got to got to do some push-ups. You got to amp up and, you know, get in their faces. <laughs> yeah, are, you, are you doing push-ups like before you do a scene? Does Every now and then, up? you know, t towards the end of the movie, it gets a little carried away. So uh, I just sort of I definitely had to amp myself up for that. But uh, yeah, no, it was great. I mean, you know, these guys are, you know, they're feeding me, you know, with the improv, the ad living that we're doing. I mean, it's, you know, it's very unexpected of what can happen. Very yeah. much so. That was a great, you know, thing about the environment is it was encouraged. And then, you know, the directors, they would come in and sort of give alt lines or, you know, tweak it here or there yeah. for the finishing project. But, you know, the, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. The, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I think I'd be a little bit cooler, but I'd be pretty pissed if a dart went through my face. Well, no kidding. I think it would hurt a lot. Well, let's get into your real life experience. Yeah. So when you turned 21, legal age, age of majority, mm -hmm. what went down? How crazy did it get? Uh, it was it was a grand old time. I was uh, in LA, and uh, you know I was so excited. I had like this big night plan. My my friends and I were all gonna go to this place. You know I got I had my my suit and tie on. Oh, suit and tie! You did it fancy. Yeah, you know gotta, <laughs> gotta keep it classy at least for the beginning of the night. And then uh, so then the place we go to, we wanted to go to. Of course, although they you know had told us they were gonna set stuff aside, they they were too busy. We couldn't even get in. Huh. So then of course a friend who just happened to be going by in a limo was like, Yo, come on in. We'll roll to this other spot. We got in. And then it gets fuzzy from there. It's fuzzy from there. You can't remember fuzzy anything Fuzzy from there. Else. Yeah, there was, I know that you know, I had a celebratory cigar, some scotch, okay. some dancing, and uh, yeah, then you know, a good old Jeff Chang carry home. Did you, have, what do they say? What's the word? What's the lingo? Did you seal the deal with any girls no, on your 21st birthday? No, <laughs> no, I did, I did not. Uh, I'm so lame. I'm like, what do they call it? Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, that that was a night. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that my game was rock okay. solid that night. No, it, it was very much about celebrating with my friends, and uh, it was a couple years into being in LA, so I had a good group, you know, with me. Yeah, uh, you know, some some Canadian actors as well, some old buddies of mine, and it was good. It was mainly just a party with the friends. Okay, so something I want to know: there's so much beer in this movie right? yeah. going down because it's Lots just a of night beer. of crazy drinking. Beer pong, all of it. What happens on set with the? Is it real beer or are you just? What is in the glasses? No, I, you know, it's it's generally non-alcoholic beer so you're talking like you know O'Doul's or like the Beck's non-alcoholic or you know some other crazy beer substitute you know I, I, there's a couple times I've had to drink this stuff in high volume on set and it, you know it gets to you yeah like, so the chugging is real chugging it's just not real alcoholic chugging, beer not alcoholic beer see it That's doesn't I feel legal. like everyone want to know that yeah, of course no and I mean you know sometimes you you wish it would be but then by take number four or five <laughs> it, would, it would it would be a different movie entirely yeah now for people you know in Canada they turn 19 we get it a little earlier. We get to go to right. clubs and bars a little earlier. So anyone turning 19 or maybe 21, if they just happen to be living in the States, yeah. what advice would you give them for that epic night? Well, I mean, it is an epic night. Yeah. And you want to have an epic night. You know, keep it celebratory. Keep it fun. Have a blast and let loose. But definitely stay safe. We do not stay safe in this movie. This movie gets completely out of control. But the most important thing, make sure you got somebody who's driving, somebody who's taking care of things as well, so that uh, you're able to have that fun with you know. No kidding. No drinking and driving. This is a bit of a cautionary tale, 21 Very and much. over. It's sort of like Very much so. learn from Jeff yeah. Chang and his friends and yeah. from Randy, right? Yeah. Cool. We'll come back anytime, okay? What Thank are you working you. on now? I <laughs> Uh, working on a couple of different things. Like I said, I just did some Doyle, did some Murdoch yeah. Mysteries. Uh, I, uh, I have some things brewing. Things br hey, yeah. I was going to ask you, so you were an Entourage, yes. and Entourage has been greenlit for a film. It Are has. you going to get involved in that? Well, we're, we're hoping so. It hasn't, you know, the, the details of it all haven't quite released yet. Okay. You know, the movie was just greenlit, and I don't even think they know where they're shooting it. Um, oh. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping to be a part of it, fingers crossed. In, yes. You know, it's my dream show. So happy to have been a totally. part of it. So we'll see. Cool. Call him. Call Jonathan Keltz. Thank you for being here. Thank 21 you. and Over is out on Friday. Go see it with your buddies, with your friends. And we've got more coming up on New Music Live. <laughs>